Hello everybody, welcome back to another Grotech tutorial. Today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can add like a UI on my menu. If you don't know what it, like the UI actually my menu is, it's like the my menu, you find it like seamless. If you don't know what that looks like, I'll, I'm going to show you. So the first thing you need to do is go to UI. Right here, UI. Then go to panel. Then just size the panel down to, doesn't have to be like, Perfect size right now. You know, just, just make it small. Like so. Obviously, this is still a little bit too big. So, I'm just going to make it a little bit more smaller. We'll make it like that. Obviously, because you can mess around with this a little bit louder. So, now you've got this, you've got, you made it smaller. No, you can start to customize it. So you can either change the color of it, so like red, black, dark red and stuff. You can also add a material to it, so like this. So like a cool material. But yeah, just customize it, pause the video, go customize it. Now what you need to do is actually get the buttons. So you want to go to panel, you want to right click, you want to go to UI again. You want to go to button test mesh pro, then you'll have a button. You might want to bring it like that. Bring it here. Then on the button, you can add like a text. I'm just gonna do fly. Oh, crap. But there we go. Now you've got the button. What you want to do? You can customize the button. You make a red, black, yeah. Go down, you got these, which is normal color, which is just the pretty much the color. Highlighted color is like when it's highlighted but not pressed. I'll show you that in a second. Press color is obviously pressed. Select selected color. I normally make that like that, but obviously change it and disable color. I'll just put as white. And you can just mess around with all these. Then if you scroll down to on click, you want to just press that. Then you want to select a mod. If you watch my last video, which I will put in the description, you can show you how to set up mods. So you can do that. Keep this on real time. Go to here and then the last one, set active. So game object, set, set active. And then press that. And, and obviously, the play like the player will be able to like disable it. So what I do, is I go. I just create like a button in the top corner. Like that and I'm just gonna make it say. Disable all mods. So what I like to do. Um, Obviously, you could add a disable button, so do we get this and make it disable that mod. Then on the button, you just go down and just press this, so disable it, and you'll just repeat what I did there, but turn that off, so turn the tick off, and it'll do disable. So now you've got that done, now you kind of want to line it up with your left hand, and also drag this into left hand. But before we do all that, go to your right hand controller. I did XR Interaction Manager and just leave it like how it is. Then you want to XR Ray Interactor and then where it says this, click this, go right hand controller, so it's pretty much just that. Then you want to go down here to line type. And I don't know which one it's on, but you want to change it to the curve one because it will like, it'll just follow your hand. More oh, better. Now you're done with that. Now you can kind of like line it up with your left hand, which you can do that by going into game. So once you're in the game, see you want to drag your right hand, drag your left hand, like this. Don't drag it by the canvas. Drag it by the panel. And just kind of drag it so it's like obviously you'll have a hand so you'll you would do the same thing what I'm doing here it's just kind of like 
turning it. Don't know why it keeps disappearing. It's because of the canvas. Well, I'm just trying to kind of line up with the hand, like, so maybe lift it out a little bit and push it in. Something like that will will do. Don't mind it disappearing, it won't like disappear again. Right. Like, so now you've done that, you want to click the little three dots, click copy, and then position. Click off here. Go to here, hit paste, and then position. And yeah, and if you did rotate it like that, you did rotate it, then you'll just do uh, copy rotation as well. So click here, copy rotation, and you can just do that. I'm just going to keep it like this for now. Now that's pretty much it. Um, you've pretty much done it. You can just mess around with it, ma actually make it line up with your left hand more better than mine, since I actually don't have a play model. Uh, but yeah, that's how you add a UI mod menu to your Girl Tech fan game. I uh, I will do another part and I'll show you how to maybe customize it a little bit more with it. So yeah, if you do want any more tutorials, just let me know in the comments. Join the Discord. There will be a Unity package if you go to my Discord. Uh, there will uh be a Unity package if you come to here. Scroll down. Go to UI. And there will be a Unity package. But make sure you go to uh, roles and get the for scripts and then you'll get access to it. So yeah, make sure you join the Discord and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.